So, uh, like, what's the message you're trying to send with your music? Because it feels like, like, you're going, like, in a more positive route, rather where, like, you know, you see, like, drill artists, they True. promoting, like, like gun violence and stuff. But, like, that. you're taking a more, like, with Lost in Chicago, that song, I feel like you were just pointing out, like, well, the negative things in, in the city rather than, you know, promoting it. You know what I'm saying? Is that, like, the message you're trying to send? Well, before, see, you met me when I was doing um a lot of, like, I, I was doing a lot of positive music, and my shit not really negative now. But now I'm like I got a whole different sound and shit yeah. from from Lost in Chicago and shit like my shit more like catchy you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. niggas gonna dance to it it's the the song short as hell like it's very simple yeah. you know what I'm saying before like Lost in Chicago Latrobe shit like that like them songs real deep you know what I'm saying telling stories about the city and shit like that mm -hmm. and I ain't gonna stray away from that but right now I am doing like. <clears throat> A more like simpler sound, you feel me? Yeah, because a new track you dropped, I heard like a more you know catchy. You yeah, know, like, yeah. And, stuff. and I got a lot of shit like that, so yeah. you gonna see. I'm I, I'm gonna let you hear some shit. Hell yeah. But uh, on me. So, hold on. Um, like like I was gonna say like positive messages are like hard to find in Chicago yeah, yeah. music. Yeah, yeah. And like, why no, no, you know what? It's not. It's not. Y'all turn a blind eye to that shit, bro. And I say, y'all, I ain't saying you specifically. Yeah. But like, a lot of motherfuckers with blog sites and all of that shit turn a blind eye to positive artists. And I know a lot of positive artists. Yeah. And I kind of dwell in their realm a little bit. But at the same time, like, my shit don't always fit in with them. Because they be mm -hmm. super positive. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. And it'd be opportunities. It'd be a lot of opportunities for positive rappers and shit. Like, my nigga John the Arthur. You know what I'm saying? My nigga, um. My nigga uh, Ace Da Vinci, my nigga Chai Tulani, like the boy Illinois, you know what I'm saying? You know, y'all, I think y'all might have interviewed him or some shit. Yeah. I think so, the boy Illinois. I'm not sure, but he get a, he get a lot of... Uh, we met him. We met him. Yeah, yeah, we, he good people. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's a lot of good positive rappers out. Look at Chance, you feel me? Like, yeah, that's true. To me, once Chance wave hit, like... To me, it kind of opened more doors for more positive rappers yeah, in yeah. Chicago. Yeah, 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 yeah you feel me? Cause yeah. you got you, cause, cause let's be real. Like, Dreezy used to be kind of like tough drill. You feel me? Mm -hmm. She doing more softer music now. Yeah. Well, I, I think that's more because she already done made it into the industry. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But you can't be on that, you know, for like your whole career, like. You know, if you make it out of Chicago, I feel like your music will change too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, she she's very girly, she very pretty, and you know what I'm saying. Motherfuckers want to see that. Want they want to hear that 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 type of shit from her. They want to see that side from her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So I get it. But like, why do you think it's the case that you know you see more artists in Chicago, you know, promote gun violence rather than for shock value? Yeah, I mean, but like I, a lot of people, they say, but that shit over with. The shock value don't really exist no more because yeah. everybody got guns Everyone, in their videos yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? So now, now you kind of gotta have a raw song. You feel? Yeah. Me? Or you gotta have a buzz either in your hood for some reason. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I feel like, like now, like, at least now, I feel like it's more about the music in Chicago rather than your shock value. Because back when, like, Keith started out and, like, you know, that whole drill scene first started, I think the reason why a lot of people caught on was just because it was so raw and, like, real. But now it's like everyone, like you said, got a gun now. So yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's kind of like you don't really know who's real, who's not. But you see, like, I feel like now, like, you know, it's actually more about the music now because the songs right. that are blowing up now. Like, FPG Doug Slide, like, that song went hard and, you know, it started blowing up. And, like, you don't really see like other songs like that blowing up out of Chicago anymore. That ain't true. No. Oh, I used to on the drill side. Yeah, like the I drill feel that. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Because look at like now. look at like Juice World and yeah. motherfuckers like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got like No Name. You know what I'm saying? You got other uh, Valet. You know what mm. I'm saying? So yeah, I think it's. I think it's more about um, the artistry now, like, but don't get it twisted though, like, the niggas who do the drill shit, it's still a scene, so they still had a buzz, you know what I'm saying, they yeah. still had a buzz and shit, but yeah, you right though, motherfuckers checking for some real, some real songs and shit, yeah. niggas wanna hear some catchy shit, niggas dancing more now in Chicago yeah, definitely. too. Cause like Slide, I feel like wasn't really like, you like smoke a bro? No, I'm good, but I you feel like you, Slide, like, wasn't really your traditional like drill song. It was kind of different, and I feel like Jeez. when you do, they're, like artists trying to take a different approach now, and it's working out. You know what I'm saying? And it's not all about drill now. I mean, man, it's just now you got you could flip the coin. It can land on either side. Like now, you, like I said, you got your chance to rap with type motherfuckers. Then you got your drill type motherfuckers. You feel me? So mm -hmm. it could go either side. And then you got some people that lay lay in the middle. I yeah. feel like I could kind of lay in the middle a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't saying I make like drill music, but. Motherfuckers done. Shit, y'all wanna hit the shit? 
motherfuckers, um, you know, I done seen some shit, I've been around shit, like, I can tell the same story, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, so. Because that's what, yeah. like, a lot of artists, you know, people, like, I remember, like, back in the day, people would call out, you know, drill artists would be like, oh, you guys are promoting, you know, gun violence and yeah. this and that, but then they would, they would be like, oh, we're not promoting, we're just talking about right, what's right, going on right, around right, us. Right, 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 right. And, like, Fredo Santana, he was, like, you know, one of the, like, pioneers of drill. Yeah. And, you know, he would always, you know, like, you know, he was always just making music about, you know, drill shit, you know, and, uh, like, he recently passed away, you know, from, from the lean, sipping lean and stuff. But, uh, you know, it, I, overall, he was trying to send a positive message to kids, you know, to stay away from drugs, to stay away from all that. And, um, like, do you think it's possible for, like, you know, you to be a drill artist, but still send, like, a positive message to kids with your music? Um, shit. I don't know. Because nowadays, you can make a song about whatever, but then you can hop on your social media and do some whole yeah, other that's shit. that's what a lot of people you do. You feel me? And that's cool. That's to me that's kind of cool you feel me like if you want to express yourself you can express yourself and then you can show a motherfucker better than you can tell a motherfucker you know what i'm saying like like for instance like i said you can make a song about whatever but then if you hop out thanksgiving do a turkey drive bam or you giving away book bags in the hood or yeah you know what i'm saying you doing if you're doing good and you, you setting the right example then yeah i feel like mm -hmm. i feel like you if that if you if you really about that action and you about that life and you know what I'm saying you credible and that's what you want to do and your shit decent why not you know what I'm saying yeah. hey I ain't gonna man I ain't gonna stop nobody from rapping what they want to rap about who am I mm -hmm. exactly shit, yeah. what the fuck but um you saw lost in Chicago it talks about the issues of Chicago a lot you know like game being yeah. murders and all that. And um, like, why, why do you think Chicago has gotten so lost in you know those issues and you know gang banging, gun violence, and all that? Shit. I mean, if you look back, like Chicago was kind of built on that shit. Yeah, you know like that, that's basically like what, yeah. Capone and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? The mob and shit. You know, uh, CPD. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Cause you know the police in Chicago, they as run like a like you know it, it's it's they always be like yeah the the police are the biggest gangs in the world and shit. But yeah. Like the police in Chicago, they really do run like a gang. Like they yeah. sloppy as hell, they cocky as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, they be having they be tweaking and making mistakes yeah. and shit sometimes. Like they be doing a lot of dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I don't know, and that's why a lot of niggas be getting over in court if you if you can finesse. Like a lot of niggas can't afford lawyers and shit like that, but. I know a lot of motherfuckers who done got away with a lot of shit. And how have the, how the issues in Chicago like affected you growing up? Like, how was your upbringing in, in those issues? Shit, well, my mama and my daddy was a crackhead. Shit, they both used to do drugs, you feel me? So, shit, my grandma ended up raising us and shit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, it's like, I don't know. And a lot of kids I went to school with was in that same situation, believe it or not. Like, yeah. like, like I know a lot of motherfuckers who was raised by their grandparents and shit because like either their parents had drug issues or motherfuckers was locked up or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I thought, I thought like, shit, I thought it wasn't, I didn't think it was a lot of motherfuckers like me that could relate to our situation, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But the schools I went to, it was always a, at least a few motherfuckers like, yeah, shit, I grew up with my, my grandparents too, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, okay. Shit and, uh, crazy. What made you want to, you know, not like advocate, but highlight these issues and, you know, kind of call them out in your song? I mean, you should. Because it's like, it's something to talk about, you feel me? Yeah. It's like. Because it's real. I mean, I, like, that's, see, the thing with rap, a lot of motherfuckers ain't ex able to really express themselves, like, truthfully. Yeah. And in a way that motherfuckers want to listen to it. You feel me? So I felt like that was a good song. Like, the way it came out and shit, I'm like, damn, oh, yeah, this, a deep, sure. like, this is a good song. I'm finna promote this shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I felt like it was catchy. I felt like you could understand the lyrics. You could relate to it. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna push this bitch. For I, sure, yeah. I ain't never dropped no video for it yet, but shit, we can make that shit happen. Mm -hmm. But, um, like, for, for some people in Chicago, you know, they're like brought up in an environment where. It's just game banging all over, yeah, you know, yeah. all that. Like, yeah, yeah. how do you think that people could stray away from that, you know, and just stay away from it? It'd be hard. Yeah, I don't sure. know, shit. I don't know, bro. I ain't gonna, I ain't that smart. But shit. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, I just, shit. Really, the best thing you could do, you gotta go out and see shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Seeing shit that you ain't got is the motivation. 
seeing shit that ain't in your neighborhood, that's the motivation, yeah. you feel me? Go, if you ain't never been downtown, go downtown. If you ain't never been to like, you know what I'm saying, Wh whatever neighborhood, even if it ain't a nice ass neighborhood, just see how sh different shit is somewhere else. And yeah. then you gonna realize you, you ain't gonna have to live like how you live, you feel me? That's how it is. But for some people, you, you know, know it's hard to just even get downtown. I'm saying, I understand shit. that. I understand yeah. that shit. But, and it's gonna sound cliche, but if you want some shit, you gotta, you, you gonna go get that shit. Or yeah. you gonna try. You gonna try. And if you can't get $3 to go downtown, then damn, G, that's fucked up. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, um, Zach TV, who was a famous Chicago, you know, YouTuber, he did interviews. We all know Zach. Yeah. That's the piece, um, man. For sure, man. That's the piece. Yeah. But he gave an outlet to, like, so many Chicago artists to, like, speak their mind, even when, you know, people look at them, you know, as, like, game bangers and stuff. Hell like, yeah. I feel like if he didn't give people, a lot of people, the outlet to speak that he did, you know, they would have never had an outlet to speak. And, um, like, how do you feel about that situation? Like, do you think that giving, like, people an outlet to speak helps their situation out and, like, you know, helps promote them? I think it's a double-edged sword, especially when you, like, when you do the drill shit, like, exposure is good and bad, yeah. you feel me? So, it's like, if a motherfucker, and then, you know what I'm saying, his shit, like, quote-unquote, real and raw, you feel yeah. me? Like, like, if you know what I'm saying, like, it's uncut, it's real, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, that means it's, it might be guns there, it might be drugs there, mm -hmm. it might be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? So, yeah, so, when motherfuckers see that, like, some people get attracted to it because it's the shock value and they like that real and that raw shit and then other motherfuckers get attracted to it for the wrong reasons, you feel me? Like, yeah. And I ain't saying what happened to him. He didn't, I don't, you know. I don't think he had, you yeah, know, what happened Yeah, all, you feel you me? Know? Nobody deserved to die. He was you know just trying saying? to put people on, but like. But as, like, like I said, like, the exposure that he was giving people, like, it's, it, it's, it's a double-edged sword, you feel me? If, yeah. if you went to that type of shit, like, if I was to do, like, a, a Zach TV interview, I don't think it'd be an issue, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I think it'd, I don't think it'd do numbers like the average yeah. video would, you know what I'm saying? But it'd be exposure, you feel me? Because, let's be real, what what you really looking for on his page is, like, the drill scene shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? My image more cleaner than that shit, like... And there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with the drill scene. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with. Oh yeah, for sure. Feel me, 100. percent It's just a little, you know, slight different lane. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, fuck my. But yeah.